Walk in the Cloud. Welcome back to Walk in the Cloud. This is your host, Ellen Bencard, and today I'm exploring a topic very close to my heart, customer experience. It's something everyone talks a lot about improving, and there are some amazing technologies out there. But when we all put our consumer hats on, we may wonder if things are really getting any better. Today, I'm going to explore a partnership between Accenture, Adobe, and a great British retailer that can answer a definitive yes to that improvement question. I'm walking with Saul Lopez from the electronics giant Curry's. Hello, Saul. Hi, how's it going? Excellent. And Accenture's Katrina Arianto. Hello, Katrina. Hi there, Alan. Nice to hear you. And we'll be talking about how creating personalized experiences at the right moments can win customers for life. So delivering a great personalized customer experience might be rarer than we'd wish, but it's not anything new. Katrina, can you explain what's different about doing it today? Well, customer expectations continuously change and differ across industries. You know, personalization is the act of tailoring an experience for an individual and an industry. And we do this by recognizing, remembering, and being relevant to our customers. But things have really moved on from customers just expecting relevant advertising to really now expecting businesses to be fully aware of their situation and to know and anticipate their needs and fundamentally remember the conversations that we're having with them and we always utilizing all that knowledge that they're giving us and, uh, and making it a really rich and compelling experience at any single touch point. So Saul, I understand that personalization was really a strategic objective from the top for you. How did you make that happen? Well, actually, the truth of it all is that personalization wasn't at the top of our strategic objective, was actually creating customers for life. So we tend to sit in personalization, always talk about personalization, like it's a destination that we want to get to, or it's a checkbox exercise saying that we want to be a personalized business. Actually, what are the business problems that we're trying to solve? And we kind of took it back. And the business problem that we were trying to solve was actually, how do we create customers for life? And we had very much of the common problems and challenges that many businesses have. How do we get a better value for our high value customers? How do we reactivate disengaged ones? How do we better say, I'm sorry, when actually things go wrong? Or how how can we actually aid when the customer is researching for a product? So by flipping it around and focusing more on what are the problems that we're trying to solve and how can personalization help us achieve those problems, that's how we kind of tackled it at Curry's. Okay. And then what was the next step? And specifically, uh, let me throw out a question to either of you or both. We can start with Katrina and then go to Saul. We call this podcast Walk in the Cloud. Can you talk a little bit about how cloud technologies actually help you do things better? Katrina, over to you first. Yeah. So with cloud technology, it's really about harnessing data and creating actionable assets that can be recognized across the whole of the Adobe platform, which makes it easier then when we're coming together to solve those problems in the business to think about how we can streamline the process, how we can improve speed to market and how we can keep making sure there's consistent and compelling experiences going to market all the time. So Saul, talk to me more about that data. You I can tell you you know about me from my dishwasher purchase and my small electronics purchase. You know, how do you make my life better knowing that stuff? Yes. So 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 exactly that. So just as Katrina said, is like with that data and with, with that infrastructure, what we found is that we were really, really good at doing personalization in our own channels. So CRM was doing great personalization, website was doing great personalization, the call center was doing their own great personalization. The gap that we found is actually how do we create an end-to-end personalized experience and how do we get all of the channels and all of the teams together? So as we started defining our big business problems, we got everyone together across 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 the business. We're talking about CRM, e-com, customer management center, decision science, insights, web, store, we got everyone together. We kind of came all together to say, how can we actually solve this business problem? What are data needs? Who is our audience? And what is that customer facing outcome that, that we want to generate? And we did that as a team because the whole objective from the start was not just to create in channel, 
better personalization, but how we can we create end-to-end -end personalization across that whole customer journey? Then very quickly, we, we created that gap analysis and we found out, okay, so these are the data needs that we need. And these are actually the clouds that we need to connect in order to generate that experience. And then we kind of went slowly, slowly, starting, starting with some quick wins. We slowly grew all of those use cases and started putting them to light. And I assume that yields benefits both internally and externally. So, you know, let me start internally. What what got better when you all brought it all together like that? I think it's just the cooperation between teams and getting everyone's engagement. Everyone, it was so it was such an amazing moment seeing everyone's lights and uh, everyone's ideas coming up. Oh yes, we can improve this experience here. Oh, what if we did this in the store? And what if we did this online? What if we, uh, what if we use this data model over here that we have over here? So actually, what we found out is that. These ideas and these assets were already there. It just weren't, wasn't the central coordination of all of these activities and assets. So it was so good and, and it was such a positive feeling seeing everyone getting these ideas and putting all of these ideas together in order to get and improve a better customer experience. And how does my interaction with you change? How has it changed as a customer? Well, my interaction with you changes. For example, if we end up failing you, if we end up um, not giving the type of customer experience that 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 you expect from queries, we do send you and we do recognize the situation and we kind of explain to you how, we, how we're making things better and how, we're, how are we recovering that situation. And that is also personalized by our various different customer groups. So there could be certain customer groups that get a certain incentive in order, in order to come back and certain customer groups that don't. So that's like one example is how we're trying to bring that personalization to life and how, we, how, we, how we're trying to give that single customer experience. Another example could be, imagine if you're a credit customer and um, and, and you have a credit account with Curry's. How how can I make sure that really simple use case you, that you see the monthly pricing when you actually land on their website, or you see that digital ad with the monthly pricing of of, of your product? So it's for you these tiny little use cases and these quick wins that I'm starting to change the experience for our customers. Okay, Katrina, on this this series of Walk in the Cloud, we've also been focusing on partnership. Uh, now, you're representing both Adobe and Accenture on our walk today. How did those two companies come together to offer Saul things that, say, he wouldn't have been able to get from Accenture alone? It's really about joining the dots. Yep. So together in partnership with, with Saul and Curry's, it's really been looking at, Saul said, you know, people had ideas, had assets, have things. And actually we bring to life then how the cloud technology helps really connect the dots from a customer experience perspective, but from a colleague experience internally. The sum of the parts is so important. You were saying, Ellen, you know, what's different for me now? But it is that recognition. It is that ability to serve a treatment that's relevant to you, to talk to you about things that you love and understand the things that you don't love. And actually to deliver you a piece of content that you think, great, I've just got to share that with somebody else. And again, the Adobe platform is a home for all of that. And then you've got the ways of working, which is actually, you know, everybody's excited and they all would love to use the technology. So how do we then build the knowledge and expertise with Saul and the teams at Curry's so they can do it themselves and quickly improve and continuously feel as if they're constantly empowered and not relying on some kind of support partner because that's not what we are yeah we are strategic partners in growing that knowledge and driving that benefit outcome both to make everybody look good to the exec because there's lots of big goals there for customers to life but also for people to feel good at their job every day yeah i love the way this is essentially a very very old-fashioned story we may be using the latest and greatest technology but ultimately this is about bringing people together whether it's the partners who were working on it, all these Curry's internal teams, or me as a customer to Curry's as my partner in, in buying cool stuff. So not every company is this far along on the journey. I'd love to hear from each of you on what you would do first if someone has a challenge in customer service and, and wants to start on the kind of journey you've been on. So let me start with you. I think the very first thing is what is the problem the business is trying to solve? And then is personalization the right answer for that problem? There could be certain situations, you know what, personalization isn't the answer. It could be just adding more agents to your call center. It could be personalization is not always the answer for every single problem. So I would, I, what I would say is focus on the business problem first. How are you going to solve it? And is personalization a good way to solve that problem? And a second area, area that I would also emphasize is don't try to do too much all at once. 
start with start with your quick wins. Like we all we all talk about these platforms that are going to arrive in twelve or eighteen months time, and we just sit there waiting for the platform, the famous platform, to arrive. But there is so much that you could do, and so much that you can execute just on the ground, like like by connecting by putting all these people together. So just start with those quick wins and actually just get something out the door as quickly as possible. At the end of the day, we're not running clinical trials here. This is just content personalization on a website. So we don't need to be in pursuit of that perfection. We just need to get stuff out there. And you know what? If it didn't work for 5 or 10% of the population, let's make that better. Let's, and let's quickly improve. Got it. How about you, Katrina? But just building on that really is just don't think take investment first really revisit the art of the possible that you have with your cloud technology and especially Adobe toolkits sometimes we stumble we start doing things when we implement it and then we forget about all the other reasons why we we're excited and we bought it and so sometimes it's about demystifying with leaders and with others across the business yeah about what it can do and then really bring that to life around how it's going to support some of those key value drivers, those key things that you want to learn now in order to know that actually personalization really works. Because sometimes it won't work for a situation like Saul was saying. Sometimes it's the icing on the cake and customer satisfaction goes up through the roof, conversion goes up through the roof and brand reputation overall is great and people keep coming back to your brand. And do think content investment, though. Often people will think, oh, right, yeah, let's do all this great stuff with data and analytics. I've got some smart cookies here that can action all these interactions. But actually, content's important. So just before thinking about how much you're going to spend, appreciate the knowledge and the assets that are in your business. It's amazing what you can reuse, whether it be a blog, whether it be a banner, whether it be, you know, some product information, what's, you know, really interesting is actually it's relevant product info that really drives an outcome. Right? So, you know, you won't find actually that you've got to create a lot more, but you will need to again harness it in the cloud and make it accessible to more people. And finally, I'd say, well, two things actually, keep the drum beating across the whole business. You know, everybody's really keen to understand what's working, what's not working, and it is continuous improvement. So make sure you're shouting about the things that you're learning. As Sil says, you know, it's about what works, what doesn't, and help us all stay on the journey of continuous improvement. But fundamentally, stay relevant to your customers. Don't overcomplicate things. You know, sometimes, as Sil said, there is, there is a simple one about just saying, I'm sorry. Do we really need to get complicated about that? When all we need to do is yeah. recognize that you've had a problem, remember you've had a problem, yep, and be relevant. So if we walked into the store and you're having a store appointment, what's wrong with saying, hey, Ellen, sorry about last week. We didn't get your delivery right, even though you did get an email last week. It's, again, it's a personal thing. It's compelling experiences. Treat me well, and I will love you forever. Thank you very much to both of you. And thank you, listeners, for walking with us. I hope you are getting the kind of customer service we just talked about from your favorite brands. And if you're not, point them to this podcast and tell them to be more like Curry's. Next time, we're going to be going from front of house to behind the scenes with a topic that has surged in importance in recent years, supply chains. I hope you'll join us. Walk in the Cloud. 